All systems are in Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Petraeus and welcome to Forza Horizons 3 Forzathon. Now this weekend uh, they had a challenge here to complete a championship to unlock a Porsche. Now let's take a look and see what I unlocked. Of course we go under cars. We find the Porsches. Here we are with the Porsches. Ah! Porsche 944 Turbo from 1989. Let's take a closer look at this thing. Cool. Pop up headlights. Curiously, the engine is up front in line four. Nothing in the back here, just, just a trunk. Yeah. It's definitely has the looks of the era. Let's take it out on the road and see how it is stock. It's running on some interesting looking tires. Hey Matthew, a lot of people are talking about this driver. I think they'd be perfect for your lineup. Nice. Hooks up nicely. I mean, it's a bit of a rainy day to be out here driving a new car, but uh, we'll take what you're given. Handles well. Yeah, I like it. Liking it so far. And of course, it's only proper if we take it to the uh, one track that I always take cars here to try, which is, where are you, where are you, there, nope, come on, where are you, where are you hiding, there you are, Arch Meadow Circuit. I'll set up the event, do a regular old exhibition. Uh, European sports cars, huh? Let's see how it stacks up against other cars in its class. In the short little time I drove it down the main drag there, it seemed pretty good. Very eager to see how it Oh, so, wow, there's... Uh... Uh... <laughs> um... I'll be right back. Okay, and here we are back. Uh, as we quickly learned, is that apparently it was the only car in its class, so we had to open it up to other racers. So, let's see how this car handles in the heat of a race. Ooh. Definitely want the, this car to be revving a little bit when you get off the line. Otherwise, it just bogs down. Oh, this thing handles really nice.
Real nice, actually. Huh. Cutting up the inside here. Just the gears are a little bit long, I think, for this. Ooh. Oh. That's the only one bad thing about this race is that the AI really doesn't know what to do with it on that chicane. Just really doesn't know what to do there. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking this thing. I'm liking how... I mean, it's very much an unusual Porsche. It's not rear-engined. In fact, it's front-engined. I don't think even... It doesn't have a boxer engine in it. It has a uh, inline four, which is very unusual. But it handles really nicely. There's no complaints here. I mean, look how, like, that nose just turns in, like, oh, you want to go there? Fine, I'll go right there. And it turns really nicely. You can be rough with the car, and I'll just, oh, okay, I'll go wherever you want me to go. I'm happy with this car. Truly, I am. All the Porsches they've been releasing so far have been very nice to drive. Come on. Kick her, kick her down there. A little power out of the turn. Very nice. Yeah. A little too much. Cut the turn there a little bit, but overall the car handled it just fine. Oh, starting to rain a little heavier. I figured the car needed a little bit of a challenge, so I decided to put a little rain on the track to see how it, uh, see if it can stand up against it. Boy, it's coming down hard. Well, it's still sunny out. We might have a chance of seeing a rainbow. They do exist in the game. I've taken a few pictures of them myself. Drifting there, but otherwise, man should take the t turn just fine. Cut the turn again a little much. The judges don't seem to mind. Braked a bit late there, but again, the car is just. More than happy to do whatever you tell it to, so. I'm definitely digging this vehicle. Oh, the headlights just snap back down. That's interesting. Oh, there's a rainbow right there. How about that? <laughs> Told you there'd be one. Kick her down again. Oh, wow. I just suddenly stopped raining. Okay. Now we're just driving on a wet track. Again, the car is just more than happy to do whatever you tell it to. Now, mind you, this car is in B class, so there's plenty of room for upgrades. So I'm kind of eager to maybe try this car out on the Uphill Climb Challenge series to see how it handles the dirt and hairpin turns. I have a good feeling about this car. I really, really do.
Well, I totally just annihilated the competition here. Holy cow. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm driving one of those uh, side-by-sides. And here comes everyone else. Okay. Okay. Without gushing too much, I like this car. I like it a lot. I... I mean, I'm liking all the Porsches so far. Uh, but this one, I'm... I have to say it's... Considering it's so different... I... I like it. I mean, that's part of the reason why I like this. It is so different. And after that race, I think we can conclude that this car, this Porsche, is very unusual. And that's, it is a front engine car. It does not use a boxer engine from what I've seen. Um, very uh, unique shape, considering it is a Porsche. But I will say that it is a very nice car to drive. It, even though it is so different than the rest of the Porsches I've driven, this car is very nice. They knew what they were doing when they built this particular car. And I look forward to maybe even trying this car off-road on our Uphill Climb Challenge uh, series that we have going on. I uh, don't know how it'll stack up, but I know that with its great handling characteristics, it'll be able to handle the turns just fine. And I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for uh, taking time to examine this car with me. And I hope to see you again soon. And once again, thank you for watching. Well, I mean, that's part of the reason why I like this. It is so different. Whoa! Well, that's my car it does celebratory donuts. I shall see you in the next next time in our possible likely in our uphill climb challenge.